Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com. I have a great tutorial for you today. I'm going to show you how to use Google Docs or Google Drive, as it's now being called, as an online storage system to back up all your documents. So if you've seen my other tutorials or read articles on my website, you may or may not know that I use Google Docs to compose all of my documents, my spreadsheets, and whatever. I have Microsoft Office, but I don't use it. But I know that there are a lot of you out there who aren't ready to take that step yet. You don't want to use Google Docs for everything, but you still need something to back up your files. And Google Docs actually allows five gigabytes of space on their free accounts. So that's more than, say, Dropbox and, and systems like that. So it's a great way to make sure that you have your documents backed up. You can back them up every six months, every year. It doesn't really matter. Uh, and it works great. So let's go ahead. Let's take a look. And I hope you enjoy. Check it out. All right, so here I am in my Google Docs. Um, all I had to do was go from, say, my Gmail account, if I'm on Gmail, and I just clicked on the Documents link up here at the top. It might say Drive for you, depending on how long ago you created your account. I'm going to close up these tabs. So once I get into Google Docs or Google Drive, um, if you want to learn how to create documents and compose documents, you can take a look at some of my other tutorials. My Google Docs beginner tutorial is a good one. Uh, but we're talking about using Google Drive or Google Docs as a backup. So in order to do that, all I have to do is upload my files. So to upload files to Google Docs, we have to click on this Upload button. It's just to the right of the Create button here at the top left of my screen. And I'm actually going to upload an entire folder. One of the cool things about using Google Docs as an upload uh, backup utility is the ability to upload an entire folder and Google Docs will actually create that folder within Google Docs. It'll name it the same name that whatever the folder is called on your hard drive. Uh, so you don't really have to do every, anything after you hit the upload button. So I'm going to hit folder and I'm going to go ahead and I have this test folder here and this is which the folder that I want to back up to Google Docs. So I just select that folder and I hit select and I'm going to get a pop-up and this is going to ask me an interesting question. It's going to ask me if I want to convert my documents to Google Docs format. By default I'm saying yes I do. And to be honest, when I usually upload documents to Google Docs, I do convert them because I compose my documents in Google Docs. I do all my editing in Google Docs. But if you're just looking to use Google Docs to save your Word and Excel files and your pictures and you do not want them converted, then go ahead and uncheck this checkbox. Okay? And then go ahead and hit Start Upload. And you'll see down here it shows me the upload bar, my percentage. Um, my first file is done, three, four, five. Got seven files in there, so we'll wait till they finish. Took about, what, five, ten seconds. My upload is now complete. You see I have a test folder that is here on my screen. To open it up, I can just click on it, and you'll see that I have all of my files. This DS store file, don't worry about that. Um, that's basically a log file. But you've got my, a picture of me that I uploaded. So Google Docs handles pictures. It handles Word, Excel, PowerPoint, um, PDFs, any of those type of files. So there's a picture of me. Um, I've got some tests. If I open up one of these Word test documents, I can actually open it up and view it here in Google Docs. And you see this is just a test. And if I wanted to take one of these files back down to my computer, my computer died, I need to recover it, I could simply right click on it and I could hit download. Okay, so that's how you can quickly use Google Docs as a backup utility. Um, one thing I would suggest is uh, if you go back to your home screen here and I see my test folder, maybe what I would do is I could go ahead and rename this for whatever today's date is. So today is July, I don't even know, 21st. So maybe I would give it a date like that. So there's my backup for July 21st. Then if I come in, say, in another two or three months and back up again, I'll just create another folder. Maybe I'll call it backup, not test folder. And I'll put the date that that was uploaded so we can kind of keep track. Um, so again, even if you don't want to use Google Docs to compose all of your documents and spreadsheets, it does serve as a great backup. So I hope this helps. Again, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.